So that brings us to today and Cloud Native. Cloud Native is about structuring teams, culture, and technology to use automation and architecture to manage complexity. It is much a way to scale the people side of the equation as it is the technology side. It is no longer acceptable for a development team to not care about how their stuff runs in production. <laughs> Similarly, it is no longer acceptable for an operations team to just have an incident occur and say, oh well, put that solution in a playbook and we'll deal with it next time. They have to take their knowledge and work with the development team to make the application more operable over time. DevOps promoted the idea that the teams that build a service should be the ones responsible for deploying that service. Site reliability engineering reinforces this idea, but supplements it with another level of specialization. As the role of operations becomes much more involved in application-specific, it doesn't make as much sense for a single team to own the entire operations stack. There's an opportunity to break down the somewhat monolithic approach of operations and have finer-grained ops specialization. In some ways, this is a type of anti-DevOps. Let's look at this from the bottom up. Infrastructure as a service is essentially the first level of specialization. We can think of this as hardware ops. And the public cloud providers currently fill this role for most people. Many people are still going to be running on bare metal, so their internal operations team will operate as hardware ops. Going a level up is OS ops. Someone has to be focused on getting machines up and running with a minimal reliable kernel. There's already definitely a trend towards minimal OS distributions focused on hosting containers, such as CoreOS, Red Hat Project Atomic, Rancher OS, and VMware Photon. Both hardware ops and OS ops focus on physical and virtual machines. However, in the container world, we can start thinking about a compute cluster as a logical infrastructure platform. And a cluster ops team can use the building blocks that a cluster orchestration system like Kubernetes provides to provide self-service operations tools to developers. So that leads us to the next layer of specialization, which is application ops. As in DevOps, the dev team can and should play this role. However, each application can have a dedicated ops team if deemed necessary. This ops team is expected to go deeper on the application as they don't have to be experts in all the other layers. This alignment of incentives can lead to better outcomes. <laughs> 